let me tell you about how I cured my depression. You're gonna love this. I have a video on my channel about my depression and I will link it right here. There are a few videos about depression on my channel. One of them was when I was in a very dark place. It, the thumbnail is just a black square and I was in a dark place, but not the worst dark place that I've been. The video that I'm gonna link is where I talk about my depression and a couple of things that I've done in the past to cure my depression. But today, I'm gonna to talk to you specifically about the fact that even though I've experienced a number of things that in the past would have sent me spiraling into a deep dark depression with severe consequences. I have not gone to that place. And I know this is a major claim to say that my depression is cured. Um, for people who are in the throes of depression, you may think that your depression is incurable and I never ever thought that I would get to the place where I can say that my depression is cured now will I ever be depressed again probably but I've had such an amazing couple of months that I have to share this information with you guys all right so you're ready first of all let me let me do a disclaimer here I am not a doctor I am not prescribing medication or any treatments. I'm not saying that the things that I've done is something that you should do. I am sharing what I have done and the difference that it's made in my life, okay? I was diagnosed with depression in my 20s and I am currently, I'm a couple of days away from being 49 years old. So I've been dealing with depression for a very, very long time. I've been hospitalized in a mental hospital and I am saying that to take away all of the shame that may come with that especially in this space I've taken a, a number of antidepressants some of them made my de depression worse and uh, made me more suicidal which is one of the side effects and that for that reason I decided a long time ago that I wouldn't take antidepressants anymore so I've been going the natural route um, for for decades one of the reasons why a lot of people may not know that I suffer from depression because I've gotten to a, pl to a place where I was functionally depressed I knew that if I fell into that deep dark depression that I was in my 20s where I had to be hospitalized several times I would lose my job I would lose my car I would lose my house I would lose my livelihood and if I did that I'd probably end up homeless so I learned how to become functional I'm editing the video that I'm that you're currently watching and it's important that I say that for me if if something were to happen to me um, I don't have uh, my parents are still alive and my siblings are still alive um, and I have friends but I don't I don't have anyone to turn to if how do I say this like there's no one to save me for example if I were to get in a situation where um, I was gonna lose my car or lose my or I lost my job and I needed help with my mortgage there is no one in my family that can save me so it, it was imperative that I got up and I showed up every day even when I it was the last thing that I wanted to do so in public I was functional and in private I cried rivers of tears, I was depressed, I was suicidal, I, all of the things that come with depression and uh, not being in that place anymore, it's, it's difficult to explain how every day I just didn't want to go on anymore. Let's get to the, the good part that I know you're here for. In the video that I'm linking, I talked about this book and I've been following the protocol on and off for 
for the many years that I've read it. And this is my second copy. That's why it looks new because I gave my other copy to my sister. I 100% recommend this book because you need to understand the, the basics of some of the things that you can do to, to ease your depression. Now, um, at the height of the pandemic, I, I saw some videos about vitamin D. At the height of the pandemic, I started taking better care of my health. Um, I won't address my obesity in this video, but I started taking better care of my health, my gut health. Um, I started taking vitamin C, I started taking vitamin D, started taking zinc, I started taking um, magnesium, I started taking a lot of tinctures, um, doing a lot more probiotics. I was doing my kombucha and I was doing my sauerkraut, which are things that I make here at home. But the I watched a video on Dr. John Campbell's channel about from this doctor in Israel. He, he was talking about vitamin D. And I am going to link this video down below. And if you are interested in your health, if you're interested in your mental health, if you're interested in staying well, I 100, I 100% recommend that you watch this video. It's about, I think it's like an hour long and I've watched it many, many times. So because of this book, I've always taken vitamin D, always, always, but not religiously. Sometimes I would take it and if um, life got crazy and I would miss a couple of days of taking my vitamin D. So after I watched his video, I became, I was 100% consistent in taking my vitamin D. And for me, the, vitamin, the amount of vitamin D that I take is 10,000 international units, which may sound like a lot but based on this video he's saying that when 10,000 international units titrate in your body it works out to be minimum minimum but along with um, the vitamin D now that I'm taking it consistently I've also added vitamin K2 to that and again I'm not a doctor so I recommend that you watch the video and do your research to, to figure out why you need to do both but I've been taking the vitamin D consistently um, when when Delta when the Delta var variant came out, and I knew that I was going back to work. And I'm currently not V, so I started taking the vitamin D consistently every single day, and I promise you that the vitamin D and because the doctor spoke about the the, um, the importance because the doctor spoke about the importance of vitamin D in this book and I was taking it um, it wasn't hard for me to get on board with with the fact that it was the only thing that I changed in my life at the height of a pandemic at the height of me wanting to quit my job wanting to sell my house wanting to move overseas it was the only thing that I changed that made, that could have made that difference in my life. And I've read through tons of comments of people who saying ever since they started the same protocol, like they're fine. Like I am a hundred percent fine. I have my moments. I still cry. I still get um, stressed, but I don't fall into that depression that I don't fall into that depression that I've learned to to go back to. So it's the vitamin D. Um, I am fine. I am fine. I am fine. I am not depressed anymore. I can say that. Um, I'll never stop taking vitamin D. I'll never stop taking vitamin D. I am going to make sure that I go go to the doctor and have my levels checked to make sure that I'm not doing any damage but even based on this like people have taken 50,000 international units and there hasn't been been any there hasn't been any adverse side effects so that's that's my biggest takeaway that's the biggest thing that I want you to take away and the brand of vitamin D that I take I'll insert a picture here 
um, I link it down below it's um, an affiliate link from Amazon so if you purchase it it'll um, I'll get some kickback from it pennies if that but um, I, I would definitely start with that one I also send this one to my brother in Canada because they don't he can't find the vitamin D that has a lot of um, you can't find the vitamin that has so many international units in Canada. All right, so vitamin D is number one. Another thing that I've done, and I also have a video on my channel where I made a spicy turmeric tonic, and this is gonna be like maybe gross a couple of people out, but I've in my life I've never been um, consistent with my bowel movements. I've always been constipated and after I made that video and I used to drink my spicy turmeric um, tonic like without fail every day um, that's taken care of so I would definitely recommend that and also I've been drinking um, when I drink anything hot I hate hot things I, um, I'm not a I don't anyway but I've been drinking turmeric like making cocoa with mushroom reishi mushroom powder and turmeric and I I 100% believe that turmeric has something to do with my elevated moods as well okay so I'm gonna link I've been drinking um, this four sigmatic um, hot cocoa mix but it's extremely expensive so I started making my own I buy the cacao powder, I buy the reishi, reishi mushroom reishi mushroom powder, and I just uh, add turmeric to it. I have tons of turmeric, so I mix up my own and I drink that hot cocoa with um, plant-based milk. And I really 100% believe that this drink and the turmeric, especially with black pepper and cinnamon, really believe that this has made a difference in my life, in my depression cured life okay another thing that I've done is I started taking I'm not gonna say cold showers because I don't shower in cold water but at the end of my shower I rinse in ice cold freezing water and it's the hardest thing it's absolutely dreadful but absolutely amazing at the same time so hear me out I I um I wash and soap up and I rinse off with warm water and then I turn the hot water off um, and then I put my hands under the cold water and I put my feet under the cold water and then I inch under the cold water and I just rinse and for me it's impossible for me to do this without making a lot of noise because it is so cold but it makes me feel alive in the mornings and I don't use a lot of um, heat in my house so I don't have my heat running all the time um, but it, it's it's scary to it's scare it's so scary to get under hot cold water when your body is warm from waking up or anything like that I haven't gotten sick I haven't caught a cold I mean I'm I've masked up I'm wearing two masks in my classroom and uh, I'm doing all of the other things and I haven't gotten sick. I usually get sick every winter, like right before Christmas when I come home. My body is just so tired I always get sick, like cold or flu or something. This year I haven't and also haven't been, haven't caught the thing, I haven't caught the C. So I've talked about the vitamin D. I've talked about the hot cocoa, the turmeric. I've talked about the cold showers. So those are three main things. Like in this book, he talks about rumination. He talks about exercise. I'm not exercising right now. Um, I don't. I don't find myself ruminating a lot because I have big plans. I'm trying to move overseas to Portugal, so a lot of my time is spent doing research and taking care of all of the things that I need to do for that. Um, so I don't spend a lot of time ruminating. Another thing that he talked about, he talks about is um, 
light therapy. I don't do the light therapy anymore. I did do that. I do sleep a lot. Um, and the sleeping that I do is, I mean, it could be considered depression. Um, but I don't have any depressive thoughts. So I'm not going to lump that into my depression but I do sleep a lot because I'm completely overwhelmed and burnt out and that's another video that I'm gonna make about the hustle that I've been doing for a really really long time that has completely knocked me on on my back okay but that's that's my video for today I hope that it is helpful to somebody um, I am happy I am cured of my depression I attribute it to my vitamin D. 10,000 international unit is what I take. I attribute it to the turmeric, the turmeric that I eat every single day. And I also attribute it to the cold rinse that I do in the morning. So those are the three things that I've done to cure my depression. I'm going to say cure my depression because it's been, it's been a couple of months where I'm not depressed not depressed. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you in my next video. Okay, bye. Hey, if you're new to my channel, I am Penny and my channel is Penny Gets It Together. You know the um, the self-talk that you do like get it together, get it together. This is me telling myself to get it together. There are many areas in my life that I need to get together. I am trying to fix the things that haven't worked so I could go on and live my best life. All right, I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.